in this video, I want to get started on adding multiple item or stacking our items in our inventory. So if I pick up all these, I instead, instead of having eight of these med packs out, taking up eight slots, I want to have them take up one slot with a number indicating how many items there are in that slot. So what we're going to do is let's go to our inventory item. We want to add a text block or text. So let's go ahead and drag that in. We'll drag it in. We can't drag it into our button or really anywhere. So we're going to drag in a canvas panel. Let's click on our button, wrap with a canvas panel like so. Make sure the canvas panel is set to fill. Let's set our button to fill. Reset that offset on the bottom to zero. Here's our, uh, what do you call it, the image. That's still all the same. We want to add in some text to the canvas panel. That's uh, a big guy. Uh, let's shrink that down. So let's find our font. And opacity or font. Let's bring that down to 16. No, let's, that's way too big. Let's actually change the number. Let's say we have 25. Okay. And as well as let's add the, let's add an image for testing purposes. I think where can I actually set that at? That's somewhere in the brush. Yeah. Over bread. And we'll set the opacity to one. All right. So here's our numbers. Let's anchor to the bottom, right? Reset the location. 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 for the offset, and now we need to do 1 and 1, so it's fit in the bottom right corner. And we need to, I hate how it does that, and we need to scale it down. So let's try 20 by 20. And I meant to do the font. Here's the, let's do 10, 15, let's do 12. And then we'll try to shrink this down a tiny bit. That's about 18. We'll do 18 by 18. We can drop it on the Y even farther, 15, something like that. So it fits there at the bottom right. So if we're going to fit at the bottom right, that'll give us some extra room to where we can hopefully scale it up a bit. Let's try 14. We'll do 15. We'll leave it like so. So 20, 21. We'll do 20. 2.5 on the X for the size and 20 for the Y. Let's save it and let's reset the color and opacity. So we're going to set that to zero for the image and hit play to see kind of roughly what it looks like. Press I and there we have the values right there. Okay, so that's roughly what we're going to see. Uh, one thing I have noticed just now, the image that's laying on top of our inventory is graying everything out. So let's move the image above the grid inventory, and that should change out how it lays out, I think. Yes, it did. Okay, so now we have it set up and being, it's a good bit brighter. Okay, so now we need to actually set up our inventory to stack. That's where we have to do the little bit of a rewrite. So if we open our structs.h, what we can do is we can have a item count or a stack count, whatever you want to call it, that can be set through here. So we don't want this to be edit defaults only, but we do want to have it be blueprint read write. So we're going to remove the edit defaults only, leave it blueprint read write, and we're going to have a int 32, and let's do stack count, like so. So what we do is Let's go to our inventory shop character and find our add item. Add inventory item right here. Go to inventory items add. And here's kind of where we want to change the logic. So basically right now, we have kind of a little bit of a situation, so to speak. So what's going on is we're not going to be adding an item to the inventory so we can't really replicate our array so much, but we can when we add a item we don't have. So what I mean by that is we can either continually add multiples of these into the 
you know, our inventory array. Or we can handle it all through our Blueprint widget and just loop through it and add it that way. I don't really want to do that. I want to make it so we have our, you know, array of F item data where we just increment or decrement the stack count. And if the stack count is equivalent to zero, then what we're going to do is we simply remove it from the inventory altogether. So we need to kind of think about how we're going to get this information onto the client. So I'm not too concerned about that right now. We're going to get it just working on the server first, and then we'll worry about the client. So let's work on our, well, just doing it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through our inventory items and see where the class matches the item data. So for F item data, we're going to do it by reference, item in inventory items, if item dot item class equals, oops, is there an equals here? No, there's not. Equals item data dot item class. Then we want to increment it. So we're going to take our uh, item and do item dot, what in the world? Dot stack count and just simply increment like so. Then because we're only doing one item, we simply want to break out of this loop and we do not need that there. So what we can also really kind of do is just have a control boolean. So bool b is new item equals false, or sorry, equals true. Then we can set b is new item equals false. setting B as new item to true by default, we're going to loop through. And if the item that we have in our, that we just tried to add is already in our inventory, we increment our stack count and set B as new item to false. So that way we can do a check. So if B is new item, if it is a new item, what do we do? We add that item to our inventory. If it's not a new item, we add to our stack count. So then I'm just going to leave the uh, remaining portion as is for the time being because that should trigger the on rep for us. And the on rep does, where is it? It adds the item to the inventory widget. So we're gonna probably have to change that and set it just to update, update a bit differently. So I'm, we're gonna have to think about this. So I'm gonna actually move this on rep up closer to where we are working which is in our add item right here. I'll just move it above it. Okay, so if our inventory, you know, we don't have an empty array, we add item to inventory widget. And I wanna set this up so instead of adding, I want to update. So we can, yeah. So let's see, if that's the case, we add the item. Otherwise, we want to create an event that updates. So let's copy this blueprint implementable event, paste that on another one, and let's call it update inventory widget. And it's gonna just, it's not honestly gonna take in anything because I just wanna loop through what we already have. So we're gonna leave it and just call it. So where we go through, we add all this kind of fancy mumbo jumbo. I wanna move this on rep inventory items into B is new item and have an else statement here where we call oops the uh, add you know, was update inventory widget. So what we do when we pick up an item, let's assume we are the server. So this will be true. We set this to true by default. So we loop through all of our items. If the item we passed in matches one of the items that we already have in our inventory, we increment the stack count on that item. Otherwise, or sorry, and then we set B as new item to false because it's not a new item. We already have the item. We just add it to our stack. Then we check. So if it is a new item, which in our case it won't be, because assuming we're picking it up for the second time, we're going to go ahead and call update inventory widget, which will then loop through our inventory items and update the stack count.
That's all it's going to do. Then, well, let's say it is a new item. If it is, we just add that item like normal, and, you know, it handles everything like normal. So we're going to have to do some blueprint work to create the functionality for this, but the basic logic, it, it's already there. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the uh, editor there, recompile and relaunch. All right, I'm going to reopen the assets, go to our inventory widget, and here's where we have to kind of make our function. So I'm going to remove the add child. That's no longer needed because that doesn't exist anymore. But I want to go ahead and go to our third person character. Here we have our event add item to widget inventory. Let's go ahead and create the event for update inventory widget. So let's get our UI, let's get our inventory like so. And then we want to have a function to update. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create that function. We're not gonna add anything in it. Let's just do update or yeah, let's just do update. And uh, let's say uh, we'll just print a string to confirm that it's, you know, running. So let's call update. See if it runs. So I pick this item up. Nothing happens. I, oh, that's right. Pick this item up. Then when I pick this one up, it should run, which it does. So perfect. And we didn't add a new item. Instead, we just, we're going to have to go through and we're adding onto the stack size of this, which actually reminds me, let's close down the editor one more time. This is gonna be the last thing we do in this video. Let's go to our structs. We wanna set stack count to equal one by default because whenever we pick up an item and create this, we want it to be one. We don't wanna start at zero because it'll show zero for the stack count, obviously. And that looks like crap. So that was the last thing we're gonna do. And I'm going to stop the video here. In the next one, we're going to continue where we left off and finish this up. Well, hopefully. So, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos. If you have any question or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.